Another day, another set of instructions. Call of Duty time, anybody? As with last time when we did the Doom instructions, please don't take any of this personally. I realize that you didn't have a whole lot of time to do this assignment. I kind of forced it on you and you're having to work with people who aren't in the same room and blah, 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 blah. Um, the way I mean the commentary, I'm, I think all of you did a good job considering the time and the restraints you had on it, but the way I mean the commentary is just to point out things that you can alter, things that you can change in your own work. The instructions assignment might be submitted, but you might want to revise it, and doing some of this, in addition to being good practice, might give you a bit better insight into what to do to your work. So let's look at them. Okay, let's start with the art one. Same rules apply as last time. This is all learning opportunities. I don't expect anything to be perfect. I know it's a quick assignment, blah, 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 blah. If you look at the left-hand side of this, you see that it's an utter and complete wall of text. There's no space between anything. And that cramped page kind of gives the reader a cramped feeling. Plus, you know the cell phone manual principle. I need to be able to pick out specific bits of information. If everything is crammed together, I'm not really going to be able to do that, am I? I am appreciative that they have the font choice proper. You don't need to indent the paragraphs. The paragraphs are short enough, so that's okay, but you should put some space in between them. When you're doing instructions, having images for each of the items is going to be a really good thing because, well, remember the broken leg principle. If somebody has to search to find out what you mean by this thing, then it's not going to be that fun of a task getting your leg set by them. So pictures help that. Controls on the page number two. There's a picture of the controller, but it doesn't tell me what button is what. And there's a small image right here, and I'm not really sure why that's there either. The red works. It has a lot of contrast between the background. The green has a little bit less, but you're going with the color of the game, and I think that that's acceptable. If we were to move on... It's much the same kind of thing. Walls and walls of text. The image, I don't know what this image relates to. If the text at the bottom is describing the little bits on each of the part of the image, the lower left of the screen shows your current team and score for multiplayer matches. Well, why isn't that marked? It's a fairly easy task within Word to put a circle around something or to label something. And that's something that you can end up doing. I was kind of hoping that when you reorganized this and you got to the instructions segment of it, that it would be set up like a set of instructions instead of like a narrative. So going for those numbered lists is going to make information easy to find if you're going back through it. Again, the cell phone manual principle. So put stuff in lists. It's a design essential here. If, because if I'm going back to figure out how to do a task, I'm going to have a hard time here. Education. Education has a bit more space on the page. They have a title page. They have a title, title of contents. Should be table of contents. Not a problem. That kind of stuff happens. There's more space on the page, but when we get to page three where the story starts you see a problem there's an extra space between each of the paragraphs and story that's good there are pictures of the characters that's good but there's these massive blocks of white space just sitting there showing us that 
well, that's where our eyes are going to go. There are ways to put this in to where it fills up the page without crowding the page. This is kind of an opposite extreme from the last one. And you can see on page four, it continues. They've got pictures for all of the main characters. It would be nice if they also had pictures for the other characters. It would help it work that much more. Controls, once again, we have a picture of the thing without having anything marked. And the same thing happens with the heads-up display. Notice when they go for the record, Act 1, SSDD, there is a bulleted list here. And this is an appropriate place for it. But when we get to the tutorials, there's a whole lot of bulleted lists. Bulleted lists are great if you're listing options, if you're listing components. But if you're listing tasks that have to be done in a specific order, that really needs to be numbered lists. And if you just have list after list after list after list, it's going to look a little bit like an outline rather than a set of instructions. Yeah, I know a part of this is inherent in the document you had to work with, and I'm not complaining about that to anyone. I because I didn't require you to change the information. It's going to be too much. But this is just stuff you need to keep in mind when you're working on your own instructions. And yeah, I know you've already submitted them by this point, but you might want to revise them. So, And that's technology. Technology, as opposed to the other groups, decided to go for a colored page. And black seems to be a good color to set off a story about war and terrorism. The green does work very well as a contrast color. I think ultimately, no, no, the green works perfectly fine. And you look over on page three, there's different shades of the green to help us distinguish between the items. Cool. They're not using sans serif font for the headings, though. There's less space around the pictures than in the last one. But we're seeing another design thing pop up where we have picture, text, picture, text. You can do a bit of variety, and that would help your reader visually sort stuff out. Other characters, we got pictures for them, and by the time you get to the end of the second page, yeah, you got the idea. Controls. This group found a picture that has all the labels set up. So I know what button they're referring to when they say the L button. Yeah, I can figure it out, but you don't write things for people who can figure it out. Now, this is a place where a bulleted list might not be a bad idea for controls. Heads up display, they have specific zoomed in parts of the image for each of these. And that's cool. The text seems to be centered over here instead of being left justified but we still see the pictures on the left, the text on the right. Shake it up. Give some variety. It's perfectly fine. I don't know why it all of a sudden goes into a bigger type font when we hit Sergeant Foley's tutorial. It's something you need to keep in mind. Even if you're working with other people in a document, consistency throughout the document is an important thing. And once again, it's not put in a numbered list, which would really help. If it was put in a numbered list, you could then make sure that each of these big images they have are labeled and then refer to a specific thing. During the first part of the level, Sergeant Foley will explain game basics to the player as in figure one. Look at the table as in figure two. That kind of thing. And then we go back to a smallish font. Consistency. Transportation does have a serif font for body text and a sans serif font for the... Con Wait a minute. It tends to go over into a sans serif font under controls. Consistency again. We have the light bluish for the headings, but the headings aren't all that much more distinct from the body text. We don't have any pictures and you should remember how easy it was to follow instructions without pictures when we did the tie the shoe thing. It's a little bit of a nightmare, right? 
So having pictures really will help in that instance. Otherwise, it tends to look like the wall of text, and it's hard to find information in the middle of a section if all we're getting is a wall of text. A lot of the work we do in this class is going to be kind of work in progress stuff, practice stuff, stuff designed to get the standards driven right into your brain, and hopefully doing this set of instructions and going over them help just a little bit. See ya.